Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Project Auto YouTube channel. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get your rusty chrome bumper um, looking new again. Um, so we're going to go from this to this. Not perfect, right? But it's a lot better. Um, this this chrome bumper is in uh, you know pretty rough shape. It's been neglected. Um, you know, really, honestly, you should be doing this uh, before it gets this bad. Um, there's a lot of pitting, um, and it's really bad up underneath this uh, plastic trim here. Um, but we can at least get it looking more presentable like that. Um, we do need to get underneath there a little bit more. Um, in all honesty, this bumper should probably be replaced. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do this without scratching your chrome. Uh, so for those of you, you know, whose chrome is in better shape, um, this will not scratch your chrome. Um, I want to note that these scratches you see here are from prior attempts uh, at cleaning this chrome bumper. Uh, but the way I'm going to show you will not scratch your chrome. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Alrighty guys, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. Um, so real quick, there is four things that you're gonna need uh, to do this job. Um, you need steel wool, uh, grade quadruple zero, super fine. So you're gonna need a thing of that. Um, chrome polish, uh, this is what I use, but you can use any, you know, any chrome polish will work. Um, microfiber towels to buff it out finally, and then some good old uh, elbow grease and uh, we're going to get this job done. So let's go ahead and I will show you uh, how to do this. Okay, so we've got the camera set up here. I'm going to try to take um, other angles as well because I know this isn't the best angle for you to see everything. All right, so we're just going to get a little bit of this chrome polish on here. Um, so we've got the chrome polish up here on the bumper. And then we're just going to take our steel wool and we're going to work this all the way across here. Um, some of these spots you might want to put a little bit harder pressure uh, to try to get some of that pitting out, um, some of those tough spots. Um, honestly, we could take this plastic uh, grill cover off, but I'm not going to. I can kind of just lift up and get underneath there a little bit is the best I can. Because again, this is going to be a temporary fix. So this isn't, you know, I'm not expecting you know, showroom results here, um, but we're just gonna go back and forth like an argument, right? Okay, once you've done that, get your towel and you're gonna wipe away this extra here and just like that, voila, you've gotten, I would say 85 to 90% of that rust and then just like that we've gotten most of that rust off of there just like so so you can see the difference there between the areas that we've already done to what we have left okay so let's go ahead and do this other little section here so we're just going to take some of this chrome polish like i said you don't need a whole lot but this does come out kind of fast just like that. Take your steel wool and just back and forth, just like so. Medium to light pressure. Um, some spots may need a little bit heavier pressure, just depending on, again, how severe uh, yours is. Um, and I'm gonna, once I off camera, I will uh, lift up on this a little bit and I'll get up underneath there uh, but this is just to show you a general idea of what it's going to look like so like I said it's just gonna take some elbow grease take your time you know just go back and forth just like that make sure you have plenty of uh, rags on hand and then like I said once you get done with that just take your microfiber towel just like so right on across there and get all that extra stuff off of there just like that
And there you go. So just like that, we go from this pitted, rusty, crappy look. Um, it's still not perfect. Um, like I said, this wheel st steel wool uh, will not scratch your chrome. Okay, these scratches that you see here are from uh, previous attempts to clean this um, with improper stuff. Um, but uh, it won't scratch your chrome. And again, it's not perfect. You can still see where the, you know, the rust pits and stuff like that. But it definitely looks a lot better than what it did. So I'm going to do the rest of this and uh, hope you guys enjoy.
Okay, guys, so I think we're about done. Um, but like I said, I mean, look at that. You can still see, you know, there's some pitting. Um, there's previous scratches. So this, you know, a bumper, like I said, in this bad of a shape, um, it's not going to be 100% um, perfect. Um, but it is a good solution for, you know, a temporary fix. Um, just to make it look a little bit better if you don't want to replace uh, the entire bumper. Um, but honestly, in this particular case, um, I think the bumper should be replaced. Um, but good temporary fix to make it look a little bit better. Um, you know, we got a lot of the rust off of the sides there. There's some pretty bad pitting there that we weren't able to get. But, uh, but yeah, so I think it turned out great. I'm going to touch up a little bit get it done um uh, but i hope you guys enjoyed the video um i'm not sure exactly how long this is going to last on a bumper this bad um you know i live in ohio so we have you know rain and you know snow and salt and everything else um but we're coming into summertime so uh right now it'll be just rain uh but we'll touch back on this um in a couple of months um and see what it looks like but that's what I wanted to show you guys today, so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, and if you're stopping by for the first time and you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button, ring that bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.